tools. They need to provide better tools than this spill kit, which probably costs on the order of like $50. Perhaps someone's pilfered the brush. I don't see it. Okay. I'm not sure what to do. We're going to have to improvise. Data collection continues. I don't see how this can work very well without using a real brush. Maybe if we scoop it onto a Kim wipe? Or what if we scoop it onto a piece of wax paper and then transfer the wax, tilt the wax paper into. You can just move this. Yeah. But how does that actually rub with this sort of two surfaces? Right. We'll just have to wipe up the, the excess and then with a Kim wipe and then try to shove it into that bottle, like waste bottle or whatever. I'm trying to keep this to a localized area here. Yeah. Oh, got a battery low signal on the camcorder. I think we're still okay for a certain period of time. Okay, I have now rubbed the surface, the contaminated surface, with the mercury resorb rod intimately using a procedure. You see a counterclockwise motion. So is that the waste container? Yeah, this is where it's used. It appears to have been in some use already. Oh wow, this kit has been used multiple times. I don't know how to do this. How do I get this in here without contaminating yet other surface? Well I guess once this stuff has been complex that it theoretically it's not right. Let me use a, uh, a, a big deal. Let me use a nature of the uh, of the wipes used for cleanup in many ways counteract the effectiveness of this detoxification. But we must soldier on. So at this point it appears that 99.76% of the mercury has been removed. The remaining fraction left over should be disposed of in these final scoops. One question that I pose to the audience is, on this day of hostile attack or remarkable negligence in our lab, where might you find one Eric Mack? but recreationally in the outdoors fishing. <laughs> on a Sunday afternoon. On a, on a Sunday night at 8 p.m. How dare he? Basking in the comfort of safety protected by and provided by people like Paul Brocker and myself. How dare people not show up to lab on Memorial Day weekend, 8 p.m. on a Sunday. Perhaps there will be a national holiday in some future. Yes, Memori Memorial Day will be in memory of the time that you cleaned up the mercury spill in the bio room. Well, that seems, appears to be a job well done. We'll have to get someone to change the diapers. 
because you're a true hero. Andrew has volunteered to change my diapers. This will go to solid waste. Nice. Well, I think we're going to have to sign off. So do you have any parting words for the audience? Besides the fact that you're a true American hero this day? Well, there you have it. So, signing out, signing off from the White Sides Group Bio Room. Good night.